Floyd Money Mayweather says former British heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua will regain his belt and beat Andy Ruiz Jr. in the rematch. Says things happen, that's the sport of boxing, he'll bounce back and be victorious. Stay tuned, coming up next. Hey, this is Cassie and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, habla Cindy, está viendo Deporte TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Uber Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, the man known as Money, Floyd Mayweather Jr., call him Pretty Boy Floyd if you want, call him Money Mayweather if you want. Undefeated 50 and 0, superstar, pound for pound king, surefire first ballot Hall of Famer, Floyd Money Mayweather, gives his advice, gives advice to former British heavyweight unified heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua says that you'll bounce back things happen in the sport of boxing that's the sport of boxing says that uh, anything can happen in the sport of boxing um, almost sounds like Floyd may be able to feel like it might have been a fluke that Andy Ruiz Jr. now current unified heavyweight champion first Mexican to become a heavyweight champion in the sport of boxing history so it possibly it could have been a fluke is the way that Floyd Mayweather is putting it. He didn't say that direct. He didn't say that exact. But he's saying that things happen. Anthony Joshua is a true champion. He's leaning towards Anthony Joshua being victorious in a rematch. Said Tells Anthony Joshua, just stay focused. Just understand that things happen in the sport of boxing. He said, ish happens in the sport of boxing. These things happen in the sport of boxing. Don't get down. You'll bounce back. Says stay focused and he'll win a rematch with Andy Ruiz Jr. No doubt. He believes that Anthony Joshua is the best heavyweight in the world. Floyd Mayweather does, right? Um, well, my thoughts on this is this. We've seen uh, Anthony Joshua back in the lab training, you know, on the grind. Uh, we see Andy Ruiz Jr. on a victory tour. Uh, he's now back on the grind himself, you know, um, training and, you know, Back in the back in the lab, you know, perfecting his uh, craft, right? Um, this is still a 50-50 fight. Uh, I think that Styles make fights, so I favor Andy Ruiz Jr. I think that if Anthony Joshua is not able to correct the wrongs, right the flaws that he had, you know, uh, which are very glaring, that he has stamina issues, he has uh, uh, issues with being too stiff, not mobile enough, but too because he's too masculine. Uh, he has too much muscles, muscle mass, right? Um, and, uh, you know, uh, he's, he's, he's slow. He's predictable. One, two, you know, um, Andy Ruiz IQ is very high. Uh, he has a, a, a very decorated amateur background. So he's been in there with all different types of styles and faced all different types of adversity. So Andy Ruiz Jr. is hard to, to throw something at him that he hasn't seen before. So it's hard for Anthony Joshua, who is uh, very predictable, very robotic, uh, very textbook. You know, uh, it's like he read a book on boxing and he's following it by the manual. You know, uh, one, two jab. He tries to do everything perfect, you know, um, but at times, you know, muscle weighs more than fat, demands more oxygen. And it shows, you know, um, because he tires out quickly. It's not just the Andy Ruiz fight. It's not just the atmosphere and the uh, moment that he made his pro date well his uh, United States debut uh, in Madison Square Garden. The moment wasn't too big for him because we've seen him gas out against guys like Carlos Tackham, and that's in his backyard in the UK. We've seen him gas out in fights with Vladimir Klitschko, but that was a back and forth fight. Uh, that was a great fight. That was fight of the year, in my opinion. Um, I love that fight. I could watch that fight over and over, uh, but we've seen him um, have stamina issues. And then his chin is, is suspect, right? He has a weak chin on top of it. We've seen him buzzed and hurt by numerous of people, right? Uh, Alexander Povetkin fight, I thought was his best fight. Uh, he, he utilized the jab to the solo plex with, with, with a shorter guy. You know, he counted well. You know, uh, he hit his punches well. I thought that that was his best performance, in my opinion, right? Against Alexander Povetkin. Uh, with that said, he did get buzzed by Alexander Povetkin in the first round. Uh, and this is not nothing new as well. We've seen him hurt, staggered and wobbled against Dillian White. We've seen him 
uh, get hurt against Alexander Povetkin. We've seen him hurt against Vladimir Klitschko, obviously. We've seen him drop uh, four times and stop against Andy Ruiz Jr. You know, uh, Carlos Tackham had him, you know, going. Uh, I never, re I never really saw him hurt versus Carlos Tackham, but he was running out of gas, you know. And um, uh, there's a lot of controversy with that because a lot of people felt like that fight was prematurely stopped. Uh, so An Anthony Joshua has a lot of flaws that uh, he has to fix. And when you're going in with a guy with a high ring IQ like uh, Andy Ruiz Jr. and uh, uh, who understands, came in on short notice, only had a five week training camp to prepare for Anthony Joshua. Uh, had his confidence was already high going into the fight as he stated he was going to win the fight no doubt he believed in himself now his confidence is going to be even higher he's going to have more time to prepare for Anthony Joshua so you know um, I think that styles make fights I think that Andy Ruiz has the quicker hands uh, he's faster um, he knows what to expect he's felt Anthony Joshua power so he's not going to fear it uh, the atmosphere is not going to be too big for Andy Ruiz as he's been on the world tour and he already performed in Madison Square Garden getting the biggest one of the biggest upsets in boxing history uh, and to go back to the same scene of the crime and do it again is not going to be a problem for Andy Ruiz Jr. I think this is an uphill battle for Anthony Joshua. I think that Anthony Joshua should have um, went on and had a, um, a tune-up fight you know before an um, a, a, a interim fight not so much of a tune-up, but an interim fight, you know, um, to work on his new uh, style, to work on, you know, things that, the flaws that he have, you know, to prepare, better prepare for Andy Ruiz Jr., not go straight ahead into the rematch because uh, things that, adjustments that you try to make that Anthony Joshua has to make are big adjustments. He has to work on his stamina. He has to work on his mobility. He has to work on head movement. You know, uh, you can't work on your chin. That's just, you either have it or you don't. So with that said, you know, um, there's a lot that Anthony Joshua needs to work on. And I don't know if one training camp is going to award him uh, what he needs to be victorious against Andy Ruiz Jr. But Floyd Mayweather believes that he's going to be victorious. Floyd Mayweather believes that he has all the tools. He believes he's the real champion. He believes he's the best heavyweight in the world. Floyd Mayweather said, ish happens. This is the sport of boxing. Anything can happen. You know, uh, and he believes that Anthony Joshua is going to right the wrongs fix the flaws and be victorious in his rematch so let's see how this plays out i can't wait uh scheduled for november 16th uh i'm hearing they possibly could be pushed back to november 29th so let's see which date it is but um that's all i got for y'all we definitely know it's going to be madison square garden in new york that's going to be back to the same scene where it happened all the first time anthony joshua is daring to be great saying he want to go back to the scene of the crime and right his wrongs where it all took place that's where he want to fix it what better way to go back to Madison Square Garden with the history of the most famous arena in the world uh, in New York, the greatest market, the greatest city in the world, you know, to go back to that place where you took your loss, lost your belts, got stripped of your belts um, in dramatic fashion. What better way to make your comeback in that same place? The world, the boxing world would be going bananas if he did so. So, you know, Anthony Joshua has the right idea. Just don't know if he had enough time to uh, fix all the flaws. But Floyd Mayweather believes so. And, uh, you know, a lot of experts believe that Anthony Joshua was going to right the wrong. And I can't wait to see how this plays out. But uh, that's all I got for y'all, man. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. Floyd Money Mayweather says Anthony Joshua will right his wrong, will correct everything, will be victorious in the rematch, and will earn his belts back. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.